At this point, the gloves is off because I'm not going to keep letting y'all play with me. I don't start nothing, so I'm not going to let Erica Dixon or anybody tarnish that. Do you feel like you're responsible for Erica eating off of Love & Hip Hop right now? But you know that they wanted me first and I turned it down. Ask yourself that question. Uh-uh. Now why am I in it? <laughs> you know, Scrap said that he wanted to bring her on board, you know, on the show. Up and getting some coins in her pocket. That's fine. No, you have no motion. Your store's been under renovation for how long? You're not getting booked. You was never the main chick. You was always number two. I got the ring first. Why are you so invested in your first baby daddy? You should be trying to figure out what's going on with your second baby daddy or why you had these kids knowing that he was in a relationship with a whole nother woman. Are you Definitely Scrappy and Erica in a love triangle? <laughs> so are you and Scrappy back dating? Well, it was a time to where we were just like kind of having fun. Coloring is what I call it. Which Coloring outside the lines? Out and inside the lines. Oh, so Scrappy's been inside your line. Oh, wow. Do you have a relationship with Bambi? <clears throat> this whole home wrecker and all this other narrative that she went around with girl when we were together and we was in the same house and we were trying to figure it out apparently you was in the mix is it true that when you and scrappy were living together that bambi went into the house and she was one of the women that he was cheating on you with but yeah it was my house and erica came over there as well okay erica dixon just snapped on diamond after scrappy tried to pull a fast one and sneak around with her behind erica's back now, if you've been keeping up with Scrappy's never-ending drama, you know he and Erica have been riding strong these last few months. They even have been all up in each other's family business. And honey, rumors have been flying that they might have tied the knot while they were in Vegas not too long ago. But hold up, it seems like Scrappy's out here doing what he does best, cheating again. He was trying to creep with Diamond and baby Erica is not here for it. Let me tell y'all the tea. This all popped off after Diamond and Scrappy had a full blown showdown on social media and you know Diamond wasn't about to let that slide. Sis came through with the receipts exposing Scrappy's trifling ways. Turns out Mr. Serial Cheater himself was still lurking in her DMs, doing the most, trying to get her back. I'm saying like, I'm, I'm not the one or the two. You know, I don't bother nobody. So that's another reason why. I wanted to have this conversation with you because I was shocked when it was brought to my attention. I'm like, what happened? Why are you lying? Why Why are you, why are you talking about me? Who? But at this point, girl, Joe needs to just pack it up and leave this mess behind. Scrappy is out here for the streets and it's clear he ain't even trying to stay loyal to her. Now, y'all know Scrappy made a big old announcement a few months back letting the world know they were back together. He even posted a video of them at the club, getting all touchy-feely. In the clip, she's all up on him, leaning in from behind, making it real clear they were back on. Oh, honey, did you see that? That's her hand sliding down his chest. Just a few days later, they were back in the spotlight, this time living it up at Usher's concert in Vegas. Now, this is where things took a turn for the messy. Right after that video dropped, spilling all the tea, one of his ride or die friends came forward with some wild news. These two lovebirds secretly tied the knot while they were in Sin City. Can you believe it? He spilled the beans, Scrapey and eloped, y'all. That's why they ain't take me to Vegas with them because Scrapey got a new best man. Scrapey quickly shut that down saying, no way, that ain't true at all. You know how it goes when the rumors start swirling, they're quick to jump in and deny everything. But girl, you can't help but wonder if there's some truth lurking beneath all that denial. Brew us to stop lying WTF you on LOL. She really fanned the flames of those marriage rumors when she went live and seemingly confirmed that she and Scrapey actually tied the knot in Vegas. Who said we not married? Somebody said we, never mind. Let me just yeah, be quiet. Yeah, let me come along. slow. You can't talk to slow people. It's slow people. We married. Shut up, Scrapey. <laughs> <laughs> She even claimed the reason they got back together was to co-parent their daughter. But girl, folks weren't buying that excuse and started saying they were just trying to get under his ex-wife Bambi's skin. Let me tell you something, you co-parent for life. Me and Scrappy will forever be family no matter what. We have a child that's in college. I don't know if yours went Scrappy to college. Scrappy and Erica or get you married. Can afford to take yours to college. Shut up! Dummy. <laughs> Doodle dog. But here's, something, here's some information for you. 
we gonna forever be around each other. Just like I still bring my parents together, Imani's gonna still bring her parents together. So we forever have to co-parent. Then a source spilled the tea to media takeout, saying that Scrappy and her weren't even messing around before, but now they're just feeling free to let the world know since he's no longer tied down to Bambi. And get this, the source also hinted that Scrappy and her were planning something big. What's brewing over there? To unveil their new relationship on the upcoming season of Love & Hip Hop Atlanta. But now that the fans have already clocked their tea, they're done hiding and just want the world to know they're officially together. But you know what they say, how you get them is exactly how you lose them. And it looks like Scrapey is already over this relationship. He just got caught trying to cheat on her with Diamond. And honey, that ain't a good look. Now, the real kicker, this isn't surprising at all, given Scrappy's history. You know he loves to keep the drama alive. Let me break it down for you. So, Scrappy was out here juggling Diamond after he left Hamby, only to turn around and dump Diamond to chase after something new. And let me tell you, when Scrappy and his new boo started flaunting their relationship all over social media, Diamond was hotter than fish grease. She wasted no time posting a scandalous pic of Scrappy, half naked in her bed, trying to set the record straight that they were still very much an item. But wait, there's more. She went ahead and spilled the tea by sharing multiple private messages between her and Scrappy, where he was all up in his feelings, talking about their plans to link up and even confessing that he loved her. But Loki admitted he wasn't taking any of it seriously. The drama, honey. I thought Diamond was just being salty and trying to mess up their vibe, but honey, it turns out she was actually dropping some real tea. This dude's a straight up serial cheater. Now, just recently, Diamond sat down for an exclusive interview with Carlos King. Let me spill the tea. So she ain't holding back, honey. She straight up dragged her ex for filth claiming she was just a second choice after she kicked Scrappy to the curb. And get this, she's out here saying that her whole relationship with Scrappy was nothing but a charity case. Like, really? She's convinced that he only got with her to give her a little storyline on Love & Hip Hop so she could stack some coins. But wait, there's more. She threw major shade at both him and Bambi, accusing them of sneaking around behind her back. Can you believe that? When Diamond was still cozy with Scrappy, her house was the ultimate mess girl. Did she spill some tea in that interview? Now that all the details have hit the fan, folks are out here gagging at the drama. It turns out the team Diamond assembled had some insiders who were just loving the chaos of that interview. And don't get me started on E-Money and her mama, Emony. They dropped a comment under that interview and you know it was juicy. You were just texting me being apologetic about disrespecting my mom Diamond quickly club back and said, my apology was about you being upset at me for getting in your mom's behind about stepping to me. I understand you have to stand up for your mother. I love you always, but girl, her cash wasn't even ready for all those diamonds while she was trying to play it cool in her mama's face. And when she responded, it was something else. Okay, now I'm gonna get in yours. Now, what in the world did E-Money mean by all that? But if I were Diamond, I'd definitely be watching my back because E-Money just turned 18 and isn't shy about throwing hands for her mama. Right after that little back and forth, I peeped the interview where she came for Diamond too. She had her own shade to throw and it came in the form of a gift that just said H-O, to which Diamond clapped back saying, number two, Ben? Then Diamond went ahead and dropped another link, making it clear with a post that said, just speaking my truth, never bitter. I need my 20% at this point because I set out 11 years and allow them to eat off my name so no more charity work. He is my lion forever and always me first. I don't need him or want him standing on business. All 2024. Then here comes this messy person, ready to stir the pot by commenting on one of those blogs that shared the interview. Throwing shade at Diamond and saying she's still hung up on him, he said, somebody mad has scraped. Don't wanna be with them. Diamond was not here for it and fired back with. Let's correct that. I don't want, you don't make me post receipts. And Diamond wasn't playing when she said she was done. She came with the receipts and honey, that's exactly what she did. She kicked things off by dropping a message from Scrappy where he was wishing Merry Christmas. The message read, Merry Christmas, baby. I love you. Enjoy your life. Be happy and love on your sign. I got you something too, but be blessed. See you soon. Oh, honey, let me tell you, he took things to a whole new level, sending her an entire video. Hey, just want to say Merry Christmas. Merry 
Chris, one with your beautiful face. Blanca, Blanca, say Merry Christmas. Say Merry Christmas, Dada. Merry Christmas, Dada. You know, just taking it in, man. Just taking it in. It's gonna be all right. God got us. I woke up, shot for me and you. Bless you, baby. Love you. Be blessed. Now, keep in mind, this man's got a whole relationship going on, yet here he is carving out time to wish his ex a Merry Christmas. From the looks of it, it seems like Scrappy was trying to spin the block, hoping to sneak back into Diamond's good graces and maybe even cozy up in her bed again, just like old times. But let me tell you, she wasn't here for that nonsense. Oh, but wait, there's more. She wasn't done just yet. Diamond spilled the tea by posting another chat where she absolutely went off on Scrappy for still sliding into her DMs while he's still with someone else. She let him have it saying, this is why you left 10 years ago and never look back because of the things you do and now you ain't changed by, he replied. See how you're talking to me? And she said, you should have thought about that before you posted the pool. He later hit her up again on New Year's and said, I know you're not trying to talk to me, but I wanted to know if I could take Princeton with me and Brie IT to SmackDown on my birthday. She said, as long as you know, I'm not even what you know more and you understand why I take Princeton with you and Brie, I don't feel like you would mistreat my child. So let me tell y'all, at Diamond was not here for Scrappy at all. And she's out here handling her business like a boss. A whole bunch of folks came for her in the comments saying she should have checked her man instead of confronting Diamond, telling him to keep his ex in the past. Now, I'm with y'all. Diamond was definitely being messy when she spilled all those DMs and did that tell all with Carlos King. But let's keep it real. Scrappy has proven time and time again that he can't keep it together. Honey, it's like oil to any woman's fire. And instead of just taking a deep breath, she's aiming all that rage at Diamond. You know how it goes, people just can't help but chime in on this drama. Like one person said, girl, what are you doing? I'm glad she posted the receipt, scrappy love, but none this performance like he's healed in a better place. Joe, please 40 something or close to IT, acting like a 21 year old immature male. This is why I don't wanna get back with scrap. She'll get played with long-term, and this is why I cannot stand Scrapey plan with all these women. He's a lame diamond and should just leave him alone and block him at this point. When you do stuff like that to me, you don't exist anymore to me. Another person was quick to jump in saying she really needs to chill and figure it out. You know how folks can always be ready to dish out their two cents on the latest gossip. And everybody was hype about him going back to LOL, Scrapey Anna flips, talking about Merry Christmas, baby. I love you. I got you something too. Then turn around and say somebody mad. I don't want to be with her. So let's spill some tea, y'all. What's the vibe on confronting Diamond after that wild ride? Should we just wrap things up for good this time? I mean, our relationship was a hot mess. And maybe it's time to finally move on for real. 